Listen to me, man. This is gonna be the greatest 500 bucks you have ever spent. Your folks are gonna love you. Thanks so much, man. Voice was gonna destroy me for that grade. No problem. Go see Darren and figure everything out. Thanks so much. What a thing, huh? People running around everywhere and me getting fat paychecks. I'm not supposed to tell you this, but I'm getting 30 grand every month for 10 months now. So, what the hell is happening here? This folks is Jerry. Now Jerry here just failed his AP Physics unit test. Now this unit test is going to be worth 40% of his final grade. He is going to fail and his parents are going to disown him. What is he supposed to do? That's where we come in. We have a system set up to help students uh, reach their full academic potential. Basically, uh, ah, I can't BS with you guys anymore. Students pay us to pay teachers to boost their grade. This system, of course, comes at a hefty price, and the price varies on a multiple number of factors, such as the teacher, the course, and how much you want to fix your screwed up mark. For example, if you want to pay off your gym teacher, it's going to be about a hundred bucks. But if you want to fix that AP physics mark like Jerry here, it's going to be an upward of 700. Plus tax, of course. Now, after we receive the payment, we split it up and we execute all the bribes. Once the teacher receives their cut, the magic happens. Jordan's mark will go from a 74 to a 97. Amazing, right? Attention, everyone! Our department has now just broken a new record. The graduating class's average GPA is a 4.0. I have even better news. 14 kids into Harvard, 20 to MIT, and 16 to Stanford. Gosh, man. Come back anytime. See you, bro. Bye. What am I, Kings? How can life get any better than this? Hey, Jim. Working hard or hardly working, huh? Yeah, man. Uh, I counted all the money. All right. Uh, do we get Brent's payment in yet? Yeah, this morning. Good. This guy is failing every one of his classes. Literally impossible. Uh, by the way, I'm honored to see you. This is something important. How important, huh? Alright. I'll go find him. Oh, hey, man. What's up? Never better. Alright, man. We have a problem here. What kind? Well, you see, Mr. Carson's retired next year. Retiring? What do you mean retiring? Well, look how much money he makes. He can afford an early retirement. Early retirement? He's <laughs> 30! I know. And he's moving to Florida, too. Who's replacing him? Uh, some guy from Lakewood, I think. Uh, Dr. Cunningham. I've heard of him. He does not like anything slight, does he? Alright, this is this is not good. Send up a meeting with him. I have to talk to this guy. Alright. I got you. Yes, come in. Hello sir. How are you doing today? Hi Ricky, I'm fine. And you? Doing pretty good. So, as you know, Mr. Carson is retiring soon. And I want you to know the gist of what is happening right now. My team offers a very unique program here at the school to help students reach their full academic potential through cash incentives. So first, the cash goes through us, and after the report cards come out, 
the teachers get their own fair share. <laughs> so what I want you to do here is to basically replace what Mr. Carson was doing. Make sure things are under the radar and that everything is running smoothly. Does that sound good? Huh. No, no, that doesn't sound good. I don't think you know how I run things here, Ricky. Hard work. Honesty. These are the cornerstones of what makes success. You and your hooligans running around the school offering bribes to teachers? Huh. Your little business? It's not going to fly. In fact, it's going to crash and it's going to burn. <laughs> well, sir, the offer is always on the table if you ever want it. And with that said, well, have a good day, sir. You as well, Ricky. The hell's going on? Dr. Cunningham is cracking down on everything. Last week's talk didn't go well. We lost three of our guys, Ricky. It's not looking good. Increase the payroll. No, 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 double it. Jim, you get that? Yep. Okay, good. Intel says the school board and the dis district's getting involved now. Six of our guys are being questioned as we speak. So what's the plan now? We have to liquidate, invest, and most importantly, clean this money. Arnold, you still have that uncle that works in that laundromat shop? I've had a few, but then again, too few to mention. I did what I had to do, saw it through without exemption. I planned each charted course, each careful step along the byway, and more, much more than this. I did it my way Yes, there were times I'm sure you knew When I bit off more than I could chew But through it all